idea behind the show is simply asking guests what they would tell a stranger on a plane if they were sitting next to them and the stranger asked them for advice. The scenery is passing very fast, but the seer is constant. The one who's seeing is the same. Let me appreciate you for asking a question that I haven't been asked after 2,500 or so uh, interviews over the years. Uh, you have to drop the EGO, which is everyone's greatest obstacle. In 2008, Grant and I had been married for four years. I was pregnant with my first child. Um, we were, the economy was collapsing and we were on the verge of losing everything financially. Well, so great to be here with you, Avery. I wanted to ask you, um, I guess first and foremost, obviously you focus a lot on marketing. So um, can you, I mean, this is jumping really, I guess, heavy in first question, uh, but can you tell me what you see that marketers do very well? And then maybe what you see that marketers maybe don't do so well? And did you want me to hold it? Or you yeah, want sure, I'll hold it. Um, loaded question. I think every marketer has their own strengths and weaknesses. Very broadly, what I think marketers um, have typically done very well is build brands that can have longevity. At Vayner, we're fortunate to work with a lot of partners who have, their brands have existed for centuries, right? Like when you're talking Johnny Walker, you're talking Stella Artois, you're talking these partners that have been around JP Morgan Chase for such a long time. They've built this brand and then maintained it and grown it globally in different directions and different lines of businesses. I think that has been one thing that, um, that's all marketing. At the end of the day, the products, it's a beer, it's a whiskey, it's a bank, but you know and you love it. So I think marketers have been good at brand building. What I think they have often struggled with is the more modern types of brand building. You know, you just heard from Gary around his belief in strategic organic content and brands struggling to leverage social media to its fullest potential. So I think that's, you know, always a, a thing for them to continue working on because sometimes it's hard to catch up to the speed of culture. I love it. And so I, I want to ask you a question that I get often is, you know, people that maybe are just starting out, they're saying, how could I get access to some yeah. of the people that uh, these brands are working with and that these brands represent? And so I don't know, you know, obviously you're in a situation now with the brands that you're involved in, it's probably a little easier to get the door open, yeah. but was it hard at the beginning for you to reach that first one or to make that first step? And if so, how do you recommend people do that? Yeah. So I'll, I'll tell you a little bit of a story. So he, we're here in Indianapolis at VCon and every single person knows who Gary is. It is Gary Con, like just his whole life's work is culminating at this massive super conference. When I went to start VaynerMedia in Singapore, it was a very different story. I remember, um, you know, I'd spent my whole career in marketing. I worked at Google. I worked at Vayner New York. I was opening VaynerMedia in Singapore and I thought people would know who we were. So I was like, you know, setting up meetings. Nobody was responding. Um, nobody like knew who we were because we had zero presence there and we were starting starting from, you know, the ground floor. So that was actually a really fun opportunity. The first slide of my deck used to be like a quote from Gary. And then, you know, people would look at me blankly and they're like, who's Gary? Like, who's this dude on your slide? And I had to change and pivot the message a little bit. Um, and it was a great opportunity for us to build our our brand from zero in a new market. And that was a fun challenge that allowed us, um, allowed us a lot of flexibility to go from zero to one. And all of that happened through relationships. It was people that I knew, my old coworkers at Google who'd moved to Singapore, hit them up on WhatsApp. And it was like, hey, like, can we talk about doing something? I'm just starting this agency here. You know, hit up people that I knew from college. Oh, your dad has a juice company, amazing. Can, do they need a marketing campaign? Um, and then, of course, Gary had a few connections that we were able to leverage, um, you know, clients that we work with in North America who we could, you know, get introductions to in uh, APAC. And that was really fun. So I think it all starts with, um, you know, being open to rejection, open to no one responding to your emails, um, sticking to your beliefs and staying persistent to build something. Because now, you know, that was only four years ago and they have almost 300 people all across the region now. So that's a proof of persistence and, of course, of a wonderful product, which I genuinely believe we've built at VaynerMedia. Yeah.